we are here in Abu Dhabi at Yaz Links. The place looks incredible. Strike was phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> Can anyone else smell that birdie fest that's on this way? Oh, what a pot. The birdie king is in town. It's good golf. Solid golf. As you can see, it's that time. It's break 75 time. We are here in Abu Dhabi at the number one ranked golf course in the whole of the UAE, Yaz Links. Now this golf course I have wanted to play for years. I've never been here. I'm excited to tee up. The place looks incredible and I really mean that. I'm gonna try and get round here today and break 75. I'm joined by Guy as well. Guy, how yes. good does this place look? Insane. Speechless. It just the, the we're on a tee box at the moment, and this tee looks better than most putting greens that I've played on. True. Uh, this is a true Lynx golf course, as well as believe it or not, here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, 18 holes. You're going to see lots of incredible things around as well. Ferrari World, the Grand Prix track over there, and much, much more. And hopefully, some very, very good golf. Hopefully, it's not too much of a roller coaster ride. <laughs> um, without further ado, let's get teeing off. We're playing off of the tees, which are. T70s, which is 7,000 yards. So I'm excited about this, I really am. First hole, it's like a par four, straight down, 380 yards. Let's go for it. Are you, are you, are you, you've been playing well, you've been playing try and break 75 too? 70, mm, 75, but I've just got this feeling today something's gonna happen. We've said this before, and then things have happened. I don't know what's gonna happen, but something's gonna happen today, Rick, mark my words. Okay, let's hope it's positive. <laughs> let's get going on the first tee. Okay. Straight down, left side of the fair would be perfect. It looks like there's bunkers down the right and there's proper, proper links rough round here. As you guys in the America would call it fescue, it's everywhere. So, got to play it. I mean, the, the luxury of, even though it's a links course, so far it's not windy. So that's a positive. It's not like being in Scotland. Right, left side of the fairway is king. Get down. It's a good drive, but it might be in the bunker. Not leaked a, a bit strike, to the that. right. Okay, not a bad strike from Rick. That just leaked it a little bit right. So that kind of strike, but a little bit more on the left side. Oh, a bit too far left. Oh, it's bounced. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, that's okay. Got away with that. Can anyone else smell that birdie fest that's on this way? Smells like, smells like, oh yeah, I can get, Bogey and a couple of bogey, double, double bogeys, but then eagles as well, you know? That's what I'm saying. Okay, so Rick's over the other side of the hole. He's got the uh, laser, but thankfully the buggy's got GPS. It's 155 to the middle of the green. So I'm thinking a nice smooth nine, and it's super warm today, as you can imagine. And this rough, although it's nice, it's going to be a little bit of a flyer, I guess. Ball's a little bit below my feet. Well, quite a lot, actually. It's going to want to go to the right. So, nice smooth nine iron at the left side of the green. Oh, it's a bit thin. But if it flies a bit, it might be okay. Oh, it's pin high. Yeah, I've got away with that. Kind of professional bad shot, that. Okay, just found the bunker off the tee. 124 yards. I'm going to go pitching wedge. Oof. It seems to come out Bunker to bunker. Just gone in the left bunker. Okay, this wasn't the place to miss it. Anything short would have been fine, but I've gone long. Okay, I'm gonna have to be creative here because I don't know why. This bit of the bunker's really kind of like like wet, like it's been flooded somehow. The rest of the bunker looks nice and fluffy. Oh, literally no where I was, there was just no sand. Okay. Not the best start so far. Big right to left putt. It's going to slope down the hill once it goes, gets going to the hole. Go ball. Go. Trying. Go on. Slow. Yeah, good roll. Thank you. Okay, a little tap in par. Yeah, nicely done. Okay, longer putt than I wanted for bogey on the first. I didn't really want to put for bogey, but just outside the right edge. 
Yep. In for five. One over through one, level par guy. Nice par, pal. Second hole, par five, straight down. It looks like there's a bit more friendly a miss if you miss left. Oh, nice drive. Sounded good in there. It did, that echo. Yeah, perfect. Okay, as you can see, second hole didn't quite go to plan. Uh, ended up making a double bogey. Hit it, hit it into the bunker, thinned it through the green, chipped it up on top of the hill, and then three putted from there. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I was losing my head a little bit. Three over through two. Guy actually played that hole really nicely, hit some great shots. Slow. Oof. It's a par. And then we stepped onto the third. Water all the way down the left hand side. So on the third tee shot, I pulled it into the water hazard on the left hand side. Oh, it really wasn't going to plan. Took a penalty drop, knocked it on the green, and I had this monster put for par. This is where my round and my mood definitely improved. <laughs> par he does. Very nice, good save. Guy played the third hole really nicely. Decent iron shot, and then two easy puts. He's level par through. Three, I'm three over through three. Time to turn it on. All right, Guy, what are you hitting? I've got a five iron. It's, I think I said it's 197 to the green, but it's quite a tough one to judge, isn't it, really? There's loads of room short and there's loads of room long. Yeah, it's like a massive green. So anything from 180 to 200 should actually be on the green. Oh, that's really good. It's right on it. Yeah, that's it. Nice, right club. <laughs> Stay there, though. Okay, I'm going to go six iron. Come on, nice golf shot. Nice golf shot he's played. Come on, be a one. Yeah, great Stop. shot. Stop. Yeah, should he's be good. Back. He's back in town. He holds a putt. He hits a shot. He's back. Okay, so this just shows how kind of tough of a hole that was. I hit an amazing shot there, but it was a five iron. And obviously I've still got like a 40 footer up the hill, swinging left to right. Go. Yeah, nice roll. Yeah, there's a better pace put. Nice three. Thank you. Yeah, you'd take a three on that hole today, blemish, but it'd be even free, more. Blemish free scorecard. Yeah. I'm more happy with the two though. So this is pretty much dead straight up the hill. Let's put a nice roll on it. Lovely. Thank you. Thirty sauce time. That was nice. Okay, fifth hole, par four. Um, 370 yards. Look at, by the way, look at all this building work that's taking place. When will it stop, eh? It's like crazy. It's everywhere. Oh, no. That's going to be in a bit of trouble. Mm. Okay, so try and play this little stock fade I've been hitting recently. A little bit too much, but it should get down. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I found it in the wispy grass. This is very much like Lynx golf. Um, 133 yards left of the flag. God, this is going to be hard to chop out of this. It's quite kind of weirdly wet as well. It's like it's been watered. Just gotta try and drill it out. Get lucky. Big bounce. Shot. Nice. Not bad from there. <laughs> Not bad from there. Fighting for this round. Okay, so I've got 126 yards. As you can tell from this position here, I can't see the flag when I'm on the ground. So there's a bunker in front of me. I need to basically go straight over the heart of that. It's 126. I'm going to go for a, a nice pitching wedge. Again, over this middle of this bunker. I can't really see too much what I'm doing. But anywhere on the green would be good. Might be a bit left and a bit short. Oh, nice shot. 
yeah pretty good actually it's right on it but it's just a little bit short but happy with that a little bit of luck involved couldn't quite see where i was going but happy with that you know what's mad so you've got the warner brothers studio there what is that thing over there why it looks ridiculous it's not like a massive golf ball it's crazy and then look at this pad here what a house that is if it is a house or a mini hotel a bit frustrated my start so far i'm kind of getting annoyed with making doubles early doors so i need to snap out of that i'm two over through four birdie on the last helped birdie chance here just want to play good consistent golf and it annoys me when i play bad golf okay nice look at birdie here up the hill ever so slightly right to left but not a lot come on back to back birdies would be nice Oh, I pushed it. Ah, started it too far right. In for par. Nice. Okay, so birdie chance, left to right. Let's give it a go. Let's not go crazy and put it miles past. That's hey terrible. Up. Sliced it. I knew that was low all the time, but we take the par and move. Nice, good par. Thank you. Okay, par four, straight down, 401 yards, straight towards Warner Brothers. Oh. Lovely. Should be fair weight. Well, that's all, folks. <laughs> Got three clubs now. Driver pitching wedge and putter, see what I can do. Okay, I'm going to start this at the flag and fade it onto that big uh, cigarette thing in the background. What's like a big cig? A bit too much, that'll be good. Would that land in the rough? Yeah. I'm just favouring the right side at the minute. I'm liking, I don't yeah, know, no, yeah. that's fine. I think if it had finished as much, yeah. I blocked it a fraction as well, don't get me wrong. Don't get man wrong. Don't read into it wrong, man. Okay, so my tee shot, I know them was lost, right? I didn't think it would be, but anyway, so there's a local rule here, you can drop one if you go in the rough and then play like your, what would be a fourth. So that's what I'm doing. 110 yards, I like Warner Brothers sign. Shot. Look good from here. Yeah. Okay, after a nice drive, 100 yards left into the flag. 56 degree wedge. It's been hard. I think it's a touch long. Just came out a little bit skinny. Okay, just slightly hit mine clean. Guys at a great recovery there. I should have been knocking it a lot closer than this. Put for three, down the hill, gonna break massively to the right. Put a nice roll on it. Hit the hole. Oh, <laughs> what a putt. He's back. Thank God it, thank God the hole's in the way. Rick, nice. what Rick he likes now, start off badly, get himself into a bit of a hole and then fight his way out of it. It's what he does. Right, this is a bogey, but it's actually, everyone knows this is a fake birdie because of my, uh, dropped, had to drop two shots. Is there such thing as bogey sauce in this environment for this time? It should be really. If you're on it. I like bogey sauce, yeah. Yeah, well done. Brown, it can be brown. Felt like you knew you were gonna hold it. <laughs> yeah, I needed to. Nice, well done, mate. Damage limitation. Okay, par five. Slight dog leg to the right by the looks of things. Um, there's a couple of cranes there with the kind of forging the letter V. So I'm gonna go straight at that. Great shot. About 15 yards left of the V, but I'll give you an yep. eight and a half out of 10. Should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do similar to Rick, but just use a bit more of my shape to start it a bit left and then hopefully fade it round with the fairway. It's trying. Should be okay. Should be good. A longer, lot longer left in than you've got. Okay, we're in pretty decent spots here. Mine's a bit shorter than Ricky, a really good one. Um, I've actually almost got like a teed up lie. You actually couldn't place that better in the rough if you tried. 
I'm going to try and smash a three wood. Favour this right side a bit and see what we can do. Yeah, nice shot. That's where I was going. Yeah, happy with that. Good shot. Okay, I only got three wood too. Just a little bit further on. Come on, I'd like to knock it on the green and two put birdie. I'm just in the first cut of rough, but also it's sat up quite nicely. I actually prefer being just in the rough with a three wood anyway. Draw. That's a good strike, that. It's yeah. going to be an hour around, isn't it? Might it? be on the green. Great. It's not yeah. just a little bit right. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with my shot then. I smashed the three wood. Rick's three wood was even better. He's near, basically on the green, just short. I've got 64 yards and I could literally put this. I've just got this lovely fairway down to the pin. I could put it, I could loft in like a 58 degree, I could chip and run a six iron or a seven iron. So many options, almost, literally almost too many options. I'm kind of stuck. I think I've really like the putter, it's not quite a putter for me. I'm gonna go with, I'm actually gonna go with a 54 degree. There's a little kind of bank just before the, the flag, at probably about 50 yards. I'm just gonna just try and pitch this at about 50 and then let it roll in. That's the, that's the desired shot. Struck it too good. That was so close. I think I just struck it actually almost too well. It just bit up a bit early. A bit disappointing that from there, really. Just off the green here, this is my third shot on this par five. I'd like to get down in two from here, definitely. It's gonna really go downhill and then kick left. Give myself a nice look at this. Thought it was gonna be a lot quicker. Okay, so really we should probably, well, not even probably, we should have two better birdie chances than this after where we both were. Right, let's knock them in. What a putt. The birdie king is in town. Great putt. Needed that one. Love to follow you. Take the break. Oh. Bad putt. Bad putt indeed. Yeah. It's a par. Okay. So, nice last couple of holes. Pick up a couple of birdies, which is good. Check out this hole. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is mega. This is pretty special. Okay, 156 yards to this par three. Nine iron in hand. Beautiful looking hole. Oh, pulled it a bit. Oh, I pulled it a lot. Okay, I'm also going nine iron. Yeah, it looks nice. Have it gotten up? Yeah, nice shot. Okay, that was a bit of a bad tee shot. Nine, nine, I should have done better. What I didn't realise, if you actually land it just in this hill, everything actually goes down to the hole, but I've just missed that hill annoyingly. Ah, oh, this is going to be a tricky one. Turn the bunker. Uh, it's genuinely not that bad of an effort that mate okay so i've almost got the opposite of rick he had a really scary downhiller and i've got quite a daunting uphiller i'm gonna have to hit with a bit of pace get through this fringe up the hill and to the hole slow oh that's terrible that is ab oh my gosh guy <gasps> it's not like you wow wow no, it's not like you Wow, I don't know what I don't, don't know what to say. Okay, there's only one thing to do now. Knock it in. No. Oh. This little short hole's causing us issues. It is. Silly, silly, silly. Okay, come on. Let's sort of keep the momentum going. Up the hill, left to right. 
brake. Must have pulled it. Had to brake. Silly, silly fours there. Yeah. Silly fours. Right. Very much. One over. Through eight. What are you guys? I'm two over now for that little mistake. Wow. Nice hole. Ninth hole. Par four. As you can see, very much hugs the water line. Uh, pins kind of right. Almost looks like it's perched in the water. Got to avoid the water <laughs> off the tee shot. Oh, A1. How'd that feel? Yeah, it should be good. That was nice. Feel like a nice sensation. Nice sensation. Right, Rick, I'm not gonna lie to you. There was a day, many moons ago, where this water on the right would have daunted me. It would have scared me, in fact. Not anymore. Not anymore. I just see a butter cut off that left bunker. Yeah, that's good. Hold up, though, a little bit. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Nice drive. Okay. So even after hitting two really decent drives, very similar in distance, we've still got about 190 left in the flag. This is a serious par four. Tee shot was difficult. And to be honest with you, the second shot's not much easier. I'm gonna go with a five iron. Need to give this pretty much everything, I think, with this little bit of wind into the face. That looked really nice. That was a career golf shot, that. I'll be honest, that my ability, I don't have many golf shots better than that. That was flushed. Okay, 181 yards to the flag. I'm gonna go six iron. Be Sounded good. so nice. Be good. Should be nice, that. Yeah, we're good at golf. <laughs> Aren't we, be honest. Uh... Be honest. There's, there's glimpses sometimes. If you just watch that hole, those two tee shots, those two irons, you'd have to say we're good at golf. You would. Can we make a birdie between us? That's the question. I can understand why this is ranked number one golf course in UAE. 100%. It's, it's absolutely insane. phenomenal, isn't it? Oh, there's one a bit long, but right down its throat. Long. Oh, are they? Ugh. The two good shots, though, from that kind of 190-ish distance. What were you, one? I was 180. Yeah. Yeah, they're just both a bit long. Yeah, it's absolutely spectacular. The condition is out of this world. And I feel like it's only going to get better on the back nine. Well, I think, if anything, there's no better than any bad holes, but I think those holes away from the water, I'm guessing that they're not as picturesque holes. These ones coming in now. Perfect. Okay, there's not many puts you get this much slope. This is really, really going to swing right to left. Go ball. I had the read as well. It was really, really snapping, but just didn't quite hit it hard enough. After my last attempt at a long putt, which I embarrassed myself and my family on, really, let's be honest, and Rick, this one needs to be better. So it's up the hill, it's right to left. I've learned a little bit from Rick, it does swing. Come on, let's give it this chance. I don't think yours was quite on as much of a slope. It, no, it the, wasn't. And, and I kind of knew it wasn't, but I still... On the side I didn't want to go low again. I hate, le you know, when it's just never got a chance of going in. It's so annoying. Ah. Oh. Okay, for par. Both longer puts than we wanted for par here on nine. Up the hill, right to left. This is to prove now that we are good at golf, Rick. <laughs> you were the one saying it, so you've got to prove it. <laughs> Oh my God. Ah, silly three put to finish the nine. Okay, I'm not massively fancy in this one. It's gonna be slippery, it's gonna be fast. It's gonna come in over that little bit of paint and drop in the hole, hopefully. Yeah, yeah well done. Thanks, Through mate. nine, both two over. Yes. Back nine, coming up. Back nine, tenth hole, it's not a long par four, 375 yards, but it gets kind of tight down there, so we're both going to hit an iron. Both two over. Kind of didn't expect to be two over after nine, after the start, then got it back to level par, and then bogeyed the last two, eight and nine, to get to two over. So it feels like a bit real, so talking about a roller coaster of a round, it really has been. You said that, yeah. Um, but birdies plenty, I need to base it, I need to shoot level par back nine to break 75 which I know the game's in there. Guy, you're cruising, you'll be breaking 75 too. You've Love got to shoot to. level par. Love to, right. Nice iron. 
Yeah, nice shot. Thank you. That was A1, really. Happy with that. Okay, we go through round two. Shot. That's fire. Two great shots there. That They'll be, be nice. right on top of each other. Yeah, let's go and make some birdies. All right, so it's really, two really nice tee shots there. The only possible negative with those two was we maybe should have actually hit three wood and give ourselves a little bit more distance. I've got 158 left, and I think Rick will have got 148. He's about 10 yards closer to the flag. So it's an eight iron for me. It's a nice, smooth eight iron. I'd like to make something happen here, so let's hit a good shot. That's good. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Good Cheers, job, mate. mate. Thank you. Yeah, that was it. Nice. I like that number then. It's a good number for me with an eight iron that. This over here, just on the left hand side, is the actual Abu Dhabi racetrack where they have the Formula One. You can see it all. Oh, that's almost, I think that's the, maybe the home stretch or. Anyway, it's all that side. Pretty cool. But no racing over. You can actually run on it certain times of the, the week. You can actually go and run around the racetrack. But anyway, I digress. 9 9 in hand, 148 yards. Guys, put a mark down there, see if we can get it closer. Get back there. Yours actually done very well, Rick. Yeah, it's hard to know, isn't it? I think you're closer than me, or as close as, if not. Okay, both on the green. Um, mine's actually done better than I thought. We've got a look from long range here. Down the hill, left to right. Let's start the back nine with a birdie. It's not there, is it? Oh. Okay. So I can see this putt doing everything. It's a bit uphill, it's a bit down. It looks a bit right to left, a bit left to right. So it's gonna go pretty straight. Ah. Oh. Good putt, but just. Mm, never, speed. never really having a chance, was it? Let's be honest. Okay, this was a really weak first putt, so see if we knock this one in for par. Pretty much dead straight. Solid. Oh, Solid. Longer than I wanted to have for my par, but it's in. Yeah, well done, mate. I'd like to join you tidying it up. Yeah, nice, nicely done. Thanks, mate. Two pars. How mad is this area? You've literally got Ferrari World there, which is also a theme park. You've got the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix Formula One track. You've got views over the ocean and also views over downtown Abu Dhabi. It's an unbelievable location, it really is. To build such a magnificent golf course here is it's spectacular. Credit where credit's due. 11th hole, par five, 560 yards. It looks like it dogs legs to the right. So that kind of circular looking building in the background. Uh, it's on your honor, Mike. Of course it is, yeah. Oh, well, two over still. Come on, it'd be nice to get a little, it'd be nice to have two scores definitely in the 70s around this somewhat oh, challenging yeah. course. Oh yeah, bite your hand off at that. Give us your hand. He <laughs> 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 came bambling down the hill. Right. Didn't feel good over that one, I'll be honest. Okay, come on, good drive. Straight at that TP in the background. Stay out of the bunker. Mm, it's heading towards that bunker on the left. Hopefully it stayed out of it. Right, we've come on a bit of an adventure here to the left of the, the 11th tee to find Mr. Charnock's ball. And actually, I found it. I was just going to chip it out sideways. May as well try and hit something at this, hadn't I? You might as well do. Let's have a quick look. Is this far away from the road? That's the F1 track over there. Little tour with Rick. You can actually see that it's obviously hit over there. And you can actually see how it's kind of rolled back into that spot. <laughs> Guys up on the hill. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is pure cross-country golf. Try to hit a seven iron. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's commit to this and hit a nice seven iron. Oh, guy!
I did think seven was a bit. A bit. What? A, a, a bit risky. We go again. I can still see it. We've not lost it yet, Rick. Just on tour here. This is like a maintenance road. This isn't even a hole that a road that we should be on. Don't know how we're gonna get back to the fairway. Don't worry about that. Okay. So now you're wedging it back. Yeah, now I'm wedging it back. Yeah. Should be all right, that. Should be good. It's bad, but it's better than hitting five off the tee. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm 290 away. I'm gonna hit a shot to about 190 yards. So I'm leaving myself 100 yards in. Stay on the fairway. Yeah, that should be fine. A little bit left of where I want it to go, but it should be fine. Okay, fourth shot, making a real adventure of this hole. It's like a safari so far. Let's try and get a nice one down to the green. No, oh, I'll guy digging. Oh. oh, somehow I've missed the biggest fairway in the world for my layup. I've just put it in the rough here. 103 yards left to the pin, sand wedge in hand. Get there, get there and be good. Great Sorry. shot. Okay, I'm making a real hash of this hole. I'm here for four now. So I need to get up, well, on the green for five. Hole up up for a bogey. So let's see what we can do, come on. Get up. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, after pitching it very, very, very close, it's actually just run on. I, was, I suppose that's the disadvantage of not being on the fairway for my third shot. We've got this look at birdie though, up the hill, right to left. I feel like I'm due, I know I've had a few birdies so far, but I feel like I'm due a few more on this back nine. Oh, I had to break. Had to break. It's great pace. Oh. I've hit a lot of golf shots on this hole, but this is for a bogey. Okay. Just roll it down the hill gently. Let it feed into the cup. Wow, what a six. Feels like you've hit a lot more shots than that. Yeah, I've got 26, but... Nice work, mate. In the hole at last, flipping it, that was a journey. Need a rest now. 12th hole, beautiful looking par four. Um, going straight towards the big round building in the background. 439 yards. Great shot. That flies that trap or whatever. Yep, should Eight be one. good. 8-1. Okay, so driving's been good, apart from that last hole really. So that was a bit of a, a weird one. But let's try and get some confidence back. Let's give this one a rip. Bit cutty. Should be okay. Okay, so decent ish tee shot. Hit the fairway. Much, much better strike that than the last couple. Obviously, got what, 184 to the pin. I'm gonna go with a six iron. It's gonna be a stretch to get a six iron there, admittedly, but it's really warm now. The ball's gonna be flying quite far. Nice committed strike on a six iron, I think, would be perfect. Oh, I've pulled it miles left. Not sure. It's a trap, I think. Okay, good drive down the middle. 184 yards. I'm actually going to hit an eight iron. So it's just slightly into breeze. Oh. Jeez, hit the green. Oh, it's on the green, but that was way to the right. Okay, so a bit of a run with Guy. We're a little bit slow here with me spraying everywhere. So the group behind us, we ain't slow players. So we're keeping the pace up. Golf's going downhill. That's what's happening to me. But this is a nice opportunity to show a bit of skill here. I've got a huge apron. And then obviously we get onto the green, massive green. A little bit out of breath, that's fine. Bit of, uh, bit of excitement. Okay, a little eight iron. It's just a bump and it's a run. It's a bump and it's a run. Come on. Now run. Now run. Now run. Ah, almost. 
Six out of 10 now, and it was nearly an eight. A little bit more speed, that would have been an eight. Okay, big, big, long birdie put here. I wanted to be getting closer. Distance was perfect, direction was way off. Let's see if we can get a nice pace put here up the hill, right to left. Brilliant for pace. All right, my wheels are starting to slowly fall off. Well, not even slowly fall off, quickly fall off. But this is the kind of putt that if you sink this, they suddenly glue themselves back on again. Come on. Left to right, down the hill. Big, big par putt this. Never. Didn't move. Um, I feel like I really need to hold this. After a good drive, green regulation, I'd be very disappointed with a three putt here. Oh, Rick. Needed that. Rick. Really, that would have been a real dagger in my heart if that would have missed. Okay. This is another one that's needed. It's another must make. A little four footer for bogey. Yeah, solid. Thank you. Greens are so good. Yeah. Make you feel confident over those, right? Two over, I'm two over. Guys, four over through 12. I don't know, still not feeling like firing all cylinders yet. Some incredible holes coming up though. I think these last few, they're absolutely out of this world. Wow, wow, wow. There's some incredible holes around here. From what I've been told, the last six are just spectacular. And we're in for a treat. 154 yard par three. Similar to the one on the front nine, but you can actually see the pin this time. Proper see the pin. I'm gonna go eight iron. Come on, draw. Yeah, it's pin eye, just a little bit right. Okay, same club, eight iron. I'm gonna go right down it. No, I'm not. Four! Where did it go, that? I think it went in the bunker. Okay, so I've gone pin high left in this bunker. Nearly killed the cameraman. Um, yeah, okay, need to really switch on now. It's getting a bit ropey, it's getting a bit silly. So a nice bunker shot here could really build some momentum. Come on, I like this kind of shot. Open face, splash it hard, hit behind the ball, confidence. Oh, beauty. Yeah, very happy with that. Very happy with that indeed. Nice look at birdie here. Distance control was perfect, albeit it didn't quite draw. Right to left put. I'd really like to hold this one. On such a beautiful hole. Oh, what a putt. What an absolute putt. Nice. Well done, mate. That nice was foul. sick. That was sick. Glad that one went in. That was a nice feeling. Right, this won't be quite as impressive at all because it ain't no birdie, but this would probably be a similar-ish feeling to go up and down out of that trap. Come on, guy. Yeah, well done. Great up and down that, mate. Thanks, mate. Very Oof. good. Happy with that. 14th hole. Par four, only a short one. Um, I'm gonna actually hit three iron down there. I think you're doing the same, yeah. are you? I'll leave myself a slightly fuller shot in. I'm just gonna go at the very big crane and just draw it off that. Don't know exactly what he said. He's a bit more though. Come on. That's in the bunker. That was almost perfect, that yeah. mate. Almost. I was meant to start it on the crane and then draw it left of it. In the bunker, that's annoying. Shouldn't be a long shot in there. Okay, three iron. I'm going to quite a bit further left than Rick's. Try and just get it in play. Yeah, good ball. Thanks. That was cream. Okay, that was unfortunate. I just, just caught the edge of this bunker. Um, I'm a hunt exactly 100 yards away. I'm not going to be able to see the pin when I get in the bunker. So, there's a, luckily there's a crane in the background, which I can aim at. We've got a 50-degree wedge and just hit a nice shot. 
Oh, be really good. Oh, get on it. If it spins hard, that could be amazing. Didn't see it down. It might even be a little bit long. Okay, so we all know that launching a driver is one of the most satisfying things in golf. But I think second to that is hitting like an iron off a tee on a par four and just doing exactly what I wanted to do. And that then, my three iron was perfect. Got 104 yards left in. So I'm going to go with like a three quarter 50 degree. Maybe a, maybe just a little bit more than three quarter. Try and get this one close. Could really do the birdie. Chances. Yeah, we've got a thumb up from Rick. It must be pretty good. I'm going to guess 12 foot, but we'll see. 12 foot's my guess. Okay, birdie opportunity here. Down the hill, left to right. I don't feel like the birdie count is finished just yet. Good Broke roll. a hell of a lot. Jeez. Up. Oh. No. Ah, I okay. learned from yours a bit, but I couldn't quite trust it. Great hole, that, though. Yeah, it's lovely hole. Makes you think, doesn't it? Okay, two pars on the card. Okay, 15th hole. Really nice par four by the looks of things. You, <laughs> I think you've literally got to hit it straight at Ferrari World in the background there, the big Ferrari prancing horse on the top of the roof. Should be short of that trap, so it should be fine. Yeah. That'll work. Okay, so I'm also going to try and go at the Ferrari logo, and if I do my kind of fadey shot, I'll end up where Rick is, and if I hit it straight, then it should be perfect. Oh, that's a weird one. Right out the heel, but it's fine. Yeah. It's a good safe. miss. That is safe. Okay, 193 yards to the flag. This is stroke index one on the scorecard, so in theory, it's the hardest golf hole on the course. I don't know why I use the word golf hole, hardest hole on the course. Uh, we've hit decent tee shots, similar kind of place. Um, just trying to think what I'm going to hit. It's either a three iron or a four iron. I'll go with a four iron. It's a bunker to carry as well. How far's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think four iron's a club. It might just be a little bit short, but... No, okay. Commit to it. Four iron. Oh, it's looking really nice. That's going to go in the hole. Oh. Oh, oh, it landed big. Oh. Okay, after a nice drive down the middle of the fairway, 187 yards in. I don't think the wind's quite as into as Guy was thinking. I think it's just a little bit more off the left. So, I just want to finish it just left of the pin. Be good. Yeah, good shot. Okay, so my shot that I thought was all over ended up in this back bunker, which is so deep. It's comfortably six foot deep. Just land this over and let it trickle to the hole. Oh, nearly landed straight in. Ah, hit it too hard. Okay, for a birdie look here. This would be a nice one if this dropped in left to right, slightly up the hill. I like the line on this. This looks perfect. Come on, to get back to level par. Oh, damn. Okay, I've not really held anything today. This would be a huge par save. Come on. Oh, I thought oh. that was in. I, I really honestly did. thought that was in. It's a bogey. Okay, for a par. Yeah, well in. Well in. Thank you. Okay, three more to go. Okay, 16th hole, look at this. Oh my goodness, par four. The green is over there. Fairway kind of around us round. I think it's kind of probably a, not a driver, but we're here, for, <laughs> we're here for a good time, not a long time. Um, I'm going to go at the upside, the, the, the upside, the roller coaster. <laughs> Do you think it's on that? I, I'd say it's that with a cut, just to be safe. Oh my gosh, and on that, that white pyramidy thing. 
Yeah, great shot. Part there. It's far on. Okay, so I'm not gonna hit driver, even though my score's not brilliant. It's, it's okay, I always wanna break 80, and so far I'm on course for that. So I'm gonna go for three iron. I name it kind of almost in between the bunker and the Ferrari sign. Cut back. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, it's good, that. Okay, so my three iron that actually genuinely hit really well. It was a bit too tight. And as you can see here, I've got the ball well above my feet in this bit of slight cabbage. And obviously when the ball's above your feet, it wants to go left. So I can't lose this to the left. So I'm gonna have to hit it up the right side, just to kind of chippy punch it out and hope that it feed in off those mounds. It's a little crow or something, a little bird it looks like up there. Is it a bird? There's something near the uh, path. Hit it at that. And hopefully it'll uh, roll around. It's a bit right of where I wanted to go. It's very right of where I wanted to go. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not in the water anyway. So that was that was my main mission. 112 yards after hitting a really solid tee shot there. Wind's just a little bit off the left, not a lot. Come on, straight down it. Kick left. Ah, oh, pushed it a touch. So I've got 76 yards left in. Could really do with hitting this approach shot close. I've not hit approaches that close today, although I've struck it quite nicely. So just make sure I get it there. There's a bit of wind into. It's going to spin a bit. Come on. 76 yards, 54 degree wedge. Too much spin. It's too much spin. I know I'm not getting used to it. I need to hit it harder. Ah. Bit of a scrappy hole this, as a lot of them have been last few holes. It's got a 20 foot off a par. Great par. Finally Great par. one drops. Very nice. Finally one drops. Okay, come on. Nice birdie look here. Right to left. Not loads and loads in it. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. Really annoying. Wow, there's been some stunning holes on this golf course. There really has, but I mean, look at this. <laughs> Incredible par three, 181 yards. Six iron just left of the pin, let the wind bring it back. Get lucky, get lucky. Oh, that's gonna finish really nice. <laughs> it's a bit thin. Okay, so I'm going to go with a five iron. Try and follow Rick on that line. That was awesome. There you go, strike. Yep. Yeah. I've hit a great shot here. Really happy with that. A little bit clean contact. We've got a nice look for birdie. Come on. I really want to finish with one more birdie. So my five iron was probably a bit too much club, which I kind of thought it might be. I'm gonna use a 54 degree here, try and nip one close. That was not a nip, that was a fat. Right, last hole, I got a massive putt for par, I need another one here. That was a silly mistake with that chip shot then. Come on, let's send one in. My goodness. Very good. <laughs> Clutch, baby. Okay, really good look at Birdie again. Up the hill, right to left. Yes, baby. That's yes. nice. Nice. Well done, my friend. Thanks, pal. Back to level par. Come on, one more to go. One more hole to finish. That felt nice, Birdie, in that one. I'll be honest with you, Guy, I didn't expect to be stood on the 18th tee today, level par. I didn't think you'd be stood on the 18th tee. I thought we'd quit after three holes, to be honest. I think I'd quit. You did, you've done very well. That's one thing, let's be honest. Your game has improved, even though you're still hitting some errant shots. If you went 12 months ago, you would not have gone bogey double and then be level on 18, to be honest. You wouldn't have done. No. So, there's progress. I've had five birdies, which is nice. See if we can get one more. However, we've come to the back, back, back tee today. 646 yard par five to finish. And 
that's what we've got facing us. Gloating for punishment. Yep. Okay, so follow that one. Yeah, this is a tough hole. One of the toughest I've probably ever played. Looking at it, 646 yards. Wow. Good tee shot is absolutely required. Yeah, good ball. Yeah, happy with that. Good ball. Okay, so as we said, this is, this reminds me of a junior golfer when I played par fives and it actually took three proper full shots to get to them. We've got 354 yards left after two good drives. It's a long way, this, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and annoyingly, you, and as you've well. Got to, you've got to try and find fairway for the second have shot. Have a look at that as well, how much above, above the feet that is. So I'm going to have to grip down three wood. Really aim it down the right side and just hope it comes back off this hill. Come back. Strike was phenomenal, but didn't turn. Trap or just short. Right, I need to step up and hit a shot here. Really need to step up and hit a shot. On level par, playing the last. It has to find fairway. I'm just going to aim just to the right, at the right side of the clubhouse. Please carry. Go on. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God, that was skinny of teeth. It was skinny, but it's just about carried. Take that. I think this is definitely the best course I've played in, in uh, UAE. 100%. It's unbelievable. I just think... You know, it's made interesting, not only the views, but I think the holes are really interesting. It's a great goal. I mean, the conditions have been phenomenal. The, the fairways, the greens, the tees, the whole thing, it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's very, very, very impressive. Okay, so annoyingly, my three wood, which I hit really well, came into this bunker. There's no way I'm getting this on the green. So I'm going to hit like a 50 degree wedge, open the face of it, just try and get it out of the bunker firstly, and just push it down the fairway as far as I can, and then go for the green in my fourth shot. So three quarter, 50 degree. Let's commit to the strike. Well, that's come out hot. Get down. That's actually done really nicely. Well, happy with that. Okay, so after not my finest three wood, but I'm glad I went three wood because I needed to step up and hit a shot. I've managed to cling on to the first cut of rough, actually. Any further left, I was in that horrible stuff, but probably would have found it. Any further right, I'd have been on the fairway. So come on, one more nice shot, one more nice putt. See if we can get under par. Stop moving. Oh, geez, that might be wet. <laughs> might be in the water. Okay, so that uh, 50 degree out of the bunker actually did really well for me. I've now got 111 yards, so I'm going to go again with the 50 degree. Pretty much a three quarter to full swing. Wind a little bit into off the left. Let's try and get this one flow. Safe par. It's right down it. Yeah, oh, nice a shot. Short. A little bit short, I think. Well, that was struck very, very well. Okay, I actually landed on the green, but was definitely turning a bit too far left off that lie. So I found the bunker. Be nice to get up and down to finish level par. Slow. That was very unlucky. Okay, par put here on the last. Straight back up the hill. Bit annoyed with that bunker shot, really. I played it nice, but just couldn't get it near the pin. Up the hill, right to left. Oh, it wasn't right to left. Okay, I've got this for a five over. This is for par on this hole, five over, 77. I think I've safely broke 80, which I'm pretty happy with. Bit sloppy in parts, but Send this home for a par on this tough par five. Yeah, super five. Thanks, mate. Okay, for a six, bogey on the last, which is a bit frustrating, but this is for a 73. It's a break 75. Yes, well in, mate. It's good golf. Solid thanks, golf. Well Guys, done, thanks mate. for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Get a chance to play here. Do. We'll see you next time. <laughs>